Belfast Confetti by Kieran Carson is a poem which is centred around the conflict in Northern Ireland. Some of the images that you see here on this page are linked to Northern Ireland and to some of the themes and images that appear in the poem. Kieran Carson was born in Belfast in Northern Ireland into an Irish-speaking family and much of his poetry explores the conflict that came about because of the Troubles, and that was a period of religious and political conflict in Northern Ireland. The context of the poem, the background to it, is quite complicated, but basically there was a clash between the rig religious and patriotic beliefs of the Catholics and the Protestants in Northern Ireland. Generally, the Protestants wanted to be part of the United Kingdom, and the Catholics wanted to have a separate Republic of Ireland. The poem is based in a part of Belfast where many Protestants and Catholics live near each other, but the city was clearly divided into different areas where the Protestants and the Catholics would live. Kieran is a Catholic name and Carson is a Protestant name. So that might give you an idea about the poet's own background and might suggest there's a conflict within his own identity and how he sees himself. The name of the poem, Belfast Confetti, is an Irish term used by people who've lived in Belfast and it describes a homemade nail bomb. These are highly dangerous bombs and you can imagine how much damage they would cause to a human body. It's interesting that Belfast Confetti is the title of the poem because actually confetti is an image of celebration. It's something that's thrown up in the air, it rains down on people at weddings and we can see how the juxtaposition of this celebratory image with the idea of it being a homemade nail bomb is quite shocking. The ideas in the poem are related to the fact that lots of the imagery in the poem is to do with punctuation. And that punctuation is used as an extended metaphor to explain the impact of living in a city in conflict and the impact of that on the people who live there. It brings together a very public event, that of an explosion or of a bomb going off, with a personal response. So you can see it as the persona in the poem thinking about how this conflict can affect an individual who might be living with this every day. There isn't any focus on casualties, so perhaps one idea behind the poem is that life is difficult and life is frightening, but it's not impossible. Suddenly, as the riot squad moved in, we've got suddenly that adverb at the beginning, which gives us a sense of shock. It's an abrupt opening, a little bit like the explosion. It was raining exclamation marks. That metaphor suggests maybe something going right up in the air and you've got the idea of exclamation marks that you would use in writing where you want to indicate maybe a shock or a loud noise or somebody screaming. So there's that kind of idea behind using that metaphor. All the way through there is enjambment in this poem which suggests maybe the idea of disjointed life in a city in conflict. Things are happening, there's confusion, and life is disjointed. Life doesn't run along smoothly. The nuts, the bolts, the nails, the car keys are the things that the homemade bomb is made from. These are the things that would cause injury to people. A fount of broken type. We can read that perhaps as language, communication, is disrupted, like the peace in this city, or perhaps it refers maybe to news reports, constant news reports about what's going on. And the explosion itself, an asterisk on the map, and if you think about what an asterisk looks like, you could quite easily see that as being an image that would be a metaphor for an explosion. Again, we have punctuation with the hyphenated line. The burst of rapid fire is followed by an ellipsis, and they are actually illustrating the gunfire. If you think about the lines in the poem, 
we might also consider those to look a bit like the firings from a gun. The idea that the speaker was trying to complete a sentence in my head, but it kept stuttering, perhaps helped you to see the tone of the poem, the poet's voice coming through, perhaps their fear, their frustration, not being able to communicate about what's going on. All the alleyways and side streets are blocked with stops and colon. There's a feeling of entrapment, being trapped in a place, maybe claustrophobic, or it could be, somebody says in the lesson, a metaphor perhaps for the army or for the police who are blocking off the streets. The increasingly short sentences within the long lines are said perhaps maybe a physical representation on the page of the gunfire that's happening, but perhaps also adds to the feeling and the sense of being trapped. The punctuation metaphor is used and helps to organise the writing as if it's suggesting maybe that the authority or the authority of maybe the police or the army is attempting to control the city. It could also indicate that life in Northern Ireland is interrupted or perhaps it represents the speaker's thoughts becoming disjointed or confused. In the second stanza, the poet says, I know this labyrinth so well. And that could be seen as ironic, because although he knows the place well, he still feels lost. Balaclava, Raglan, Inkerman, Odessa Street, those are street names, but they're also names of wars which were thought, fought in British colonies. So that's referring to the British involvement in Northern Ireland. We then see lots of questions in this stanza. And again, that helps us to see the tone of the poem, the poet's voice, and how the persona in the poem is feeling. Perhaps the questions are showing confusion. Perhaps the questions are showing anger or uncertainty about the future. Or perhaps he's being interrogated. Maybe these are questions that are being asked of him. Maybe everybody in the city is under suspicion. Every move is punctuated, perhaps suggesting violence. The list of military items, a Saracen, an armoured car, Kremlin 2 mesh, mesh for a windscreen, Macrolon face shields, the body armour used by the British Army, walkie-talkies, suggest a sense of chaos, perhaps, after the incident, with all of these things suddenly appearing. Maybe a sense of alienation, of paranoia, of having things to create distance between people. At the end, the fusillade of question marks. A fusillade is something being fired at the same time, and perhaps this indicates that the persona feels under attack, whether it's from the bomb or from the people policing the streets, is not clear, and you can make your own decisions about that. As an example question, this could be something that you might get how does Carson use structure and imagery to show violence and feelings of confusion? And if you want to practice that in the exam, you would have 30 minutes to answer this question. If you use spirit to think about particularly the structure, the imagery, and start with the ideas behind the poem, then you can have a practice at writing this yourself.